Hey Awesome Ones! Hey Awesome Ones! <laughs> I'm Heather. And I'm Bill. And you know, a while ago, Bill and I, we made up our bucket list for things that we want to do this holiday season. And some of them we've already done. Yeah. yeah. And, and then we thought, hey, why not do a video and share those top 10 things with you? So... And you know, it's nothing extravagant. It's just everyday real things that make the season. Absolutely. And it all starts in just a few seconds. All right, for number one, well, we've already done it. We have already decorated our home. And I actually did do a video on that, on uh, how we decorate our home. I'm gonna put the link up there for you. But, you know, there's it's a crazy, crazy world out there right now. And it's so nice to come home to a home with, you know, your Christmas tree and lots of sparkly lights that twinkle and shine and uh, a little bit of comfort and joy. So my suggestion for number one is get those decorations up early and truth be told, I start just a few days after Halloween. Maybe you don't want to make it that early, but um, I'll tell you, it really, really changes your state when you walk into a home that's uh, very, very merry. <laughs> So number two is have some fun and a little whimsy along the way. I just got this crazy, I guess they call it an ugly Christmas sweater. And this is my first one. I cannot believe it took me this long to buy a crazy, funny Christmas sweater. And I absolutely love it. it makes me feel really, really good when I'm wearing it. And also, of course, I have my Christmas socks and all that kind of thing to really really feel like I'm happy and joyous and really into the holiday spirit. Now a few other things that I do with uh, Christmas is I put Santa hats on uh, various items around the house and uh, what about those crazy melted snowman Christmas cookies that I made? I'm having a lot of fun here. So number three is get glammed up. <laughs> I am wearing more red lipstick this season than I think even in when I was modeling in the 80s, more than even then, and I am loving it. I have done a little bit of a darker eyebrow, and I, I just love it. So this is the time, hey, even wear that red lipstick to the office and enjoy. And actually tonight, Bill and I were going to uh, a get together, a Christmas party, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. And make sure that when people are asking you to RSVP, you do it. You know, go have some fun. Take in those parties and maybe even a New Year's ball. And I actually did a video on just in case you have nothing to wear and you're looking in your closet and you're going, oh, I don't know what I can wear. I did a video on some inexpensive and form-flattering flat pretty outfits. So um, if you think you'd don't know what to wear, this might really help you out. And um, you know what? Life, life is a celebration, and especially this time of year. And you know I've said before, we only have so many summers. Well, we only have so many holiday seasons, New Year's parties, that sort of thing in our lives. So get out there, get glammed out, Glammed up, <laughs> glammed up, glammed up and laugh, have some fun. So for number four, <laughs> we're sharpening up our skates, aren't we? We are indeed, we are indeed. And yep. do you remember that date that we had where Bill and I had, I think we'd only been on a couple of dates and then he said, let's go skating and- you... This was like the first real date, you know? And uh, yeah, we, I took Heather, I said, let's go skating and uh, uh, do you want me to say it? Or sure, she, wasn't sure. a, she wasn't a great skater, and, and I'm a pretty good skater, and so I had a feeling she'd probably have to hang on to me, hold my hand or something, and uh, 
But yeah, it was fun, you know, and it was nice being outdoors and the fresh air and... You were so smooth, you know, like you just thought, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm going to have to hold her and all that kind of stuff. And it worked. We've been together now for 21 years, but yeah, go skating. And you can also rent some skates as well at a lot of these rinks. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know, the exercise is fun, but also just skating around with a cold little nose and then <laughs> afterwards getting some hot chocolates and uh, I like putting the marshmallows on top too. So talking about hot chocolate, uh, my number five on the bucket list is to make up a new festive drink and it doesn't have to have alcohol in it either. So uh, what I did was I went on the World Wide Web and I found some really neat kind of recipes. This one um, is talking about eggnog. Uh, this is kind of uh, a warm mulled wine. And this one is a new take on a mimosa. Uh, that looks kind of cool for New Year's Day morning or even New Year's Eve. So um, what to mix with eggnog? So. What alcohol goes best with eggnog, bourbon, rye, really they're looking for the uh, darker amber kind of um, liquors, um, Irish whiskey, blended scotch whiskey, brandy, and it also says here that um, to put of course nutmeg and cloves and cinnamon, that sort of thing, but also other goodies, coffee. Hmm, that sounds really interesting. Recommended um, with maybe maple syrup. So let's just uh, kind of mix something up here. I think what I'm going to put in this drink is, uh, again, this is called Crown Royal. It's, um, it's a whiskey. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Um, you can add ice cubes if you want. I find with eggnog, I really kind of don't like ice cubes in mine, but it's up to you. You could also maybe put around the rim um, some nice cinnamon, something like that. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some coffee. Now, Bill made this coffee this morning. It's cold, but I'm going to be making a cold drink. And if you haven't seen how Bill makes a French press coffee, He's actually a pro at it. I'm going to put the link up there for you to take a look at it because it's really, really good. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of coffee in here. Uh, okay, and I'm going to do the maple syrup thing. That sounds really, really interesting. So again, quite the measurer I am, but uh, that gives it a little bit more sweetness. And the eggnog. Mmm. Well, that looks delicious. And I'll give it a little bit of a stir here. Uh, a little bit of nutmeg on top, just a sprinkle on top. And how about... Oh. I think you can get larger ones. Uh, hold on for a second. I'm going to just do something because that's not going to work. We can't do that. All right. I'm back. Remember the Christmas cookies that I made? Well, I've got a little, um, what I would do with this was I'd put a little candy cane in there. I can't do it right now, but uh, let me just have a little taste of this because I can't unwrap all this. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bill, after this, you have to taste this. This is really amazing. Let's make another one. And you know what? I've even got some whipped cream here. If I wanted to get kind of fancy, I could put some whipped cream on top and then put the nutmeg on that. So you could just imagine kind of serving that to somebody. It would be a really, really nice drink. All right, so let's try something. Um, let's try something a little bit warmer. And it's always nice if you have the right glasses. So, uh, of course, you can use a mug like the Awesome or 50 mug, but sometimes it's, it's nice to have uh, the glass ones. And what I'm going to do here, this is going to be really easy peasy. I'm just going to pour in some wine. Now, what you can do with this wine is, um, you can, I know a lot of you are cringing when I say this, you could put it in the microwave to warm it up, or you could have had the wine on the stove where you just stir it and warm it up. Again, this is absolutely lovely 
with a little bit of nutmeg on top. Um, sometimes what people do, um, you know, again, find something that's a little bit longer than these little guys, but you never know what you're buying at the grocery store sometimes. And uh, what I do is I just kind of warm this up, maybe put some little um, orange peels or something like that in, and this is absolutely wonderful. Just to sip and relax on a chilly day. Okay, I'm not finished yet. I feel like I'm finished, but I got one more to show you. And that is the mimosa idea that I found in here. And again, all of these recipes and ideas, just go scooting around on the internet and find out what you're looking for. Um, this one is going to be my take on a mimosa, and I absolutely love mimosas with orange juice, but I got these little little uh, screw top uh, champagnes, which for Bill and I, this is about our size, right, Bill? We're not uh, big on, you know, finishing a whole bottle of champagne. So what we do is we're just gonna put that in there, and we're going to, this time, add cranberry juice to it, so. All you do is add a little bit of cranberry juice and you could put uh, whatever you want in there as well. Uh, they say maybe uh, sprigs of rosemary. They have some pictures of maybe you might want to put some fruit inside a little bit, but I'm going to give that a stir up. And as you know, um, cranberries are really, really good for you, cranberry juice. So, and they say especially for men, I'm just going to see what else. Um, a little bit of a lime, a half a lime would be nice in here, but it also calls for a little bit of sugar. Now I'm just using regular sugar, but I know we do have the extra fine sugar as well, but I'm just gonna put a little sprig in there and give this a stir. And again, garnish it any way you want and Happy New Year, everybody. Mmm. Bill, you're going to like this one. So for number six, experiment a little bit. Life is a buffet, so just experiment with some different kind of hors d'oeuvres. And by the way, if you are having a get together and you are just kind of putting out the finger foods and the hors d'oeuvres, you usually count on eight hors d'oeuvres per person. Because a lot of people are talking, they're not eating as much, but that's a little bit of a standard uh, cue to go with. Now this year, like I've always got, you know, the chicken wings in my freezer. I usually have some samosas, that sort of thing. But really what I want to do this year, whether I make a new kind of cheese ball or a new kind of hors d'oeuvre, along with the regular bacon and scallops and everything else, I have found for this year, this is um, a three layer spread red pe pepper and it just has the cream cheese on it. I also found these uh, jalapeno poppers with cream cheese and bacon ceramic so that's going to be delicious and i'm sure everybody's going to love those and then i also found um, these puff pastry canapes they're goat cheese and um cure anyway uh, tomato and um empanol cheese spinach and ricotta and sweet pepper and tomato so and and a lot of these they're ready in about 15 minutes so you know head off to the freezer section this year and take a look at all the different things that you can get and try something different it's the spice of life so i'm a city girl and one of the things i remember at christmas time was my mom would take me out and show me the department store windows that were all dressed up for the holiday season and bill and i've already done this now and I remember looking at them and knowing that after we saw the windows, I was going to go and see Santa Claus. So it's a very, very special time to share with uh, maybe children or grandchildren or just to enjoy yourself and feel like a kid again. So talking about feeling like a kid again, at number eight, is, and I've already done this, well, I've done the prequel to uh, the baking cookies with my kids. And my kids are all, like my daughters are almost 30. So 
I haven't done this tradition and this year I said I'm doing it so right around Christmas time we're going to make some cookies and I gotta say my trial run I'll show a little bit of what happened during my trial what run um, well they were a little bit messy a little bit weird looking but uh, you know what it's all in the fun and, and I had to laugh at Bill because you know he's looking he says Heather um they're really looking terrible and I think there should be a video where uh, we warn people that you haven't done baking in 40 years and don't try this at home well as soon as he said that I just started belly laughing I'm like tears are coming down because I'm laughing so hard and you know what laugh at yourself these cookies were delicious so if you say oh I'm not a baker Go for it. Go try it out. It's fun and they're delicious. So number nine, you're not going to believe this. We have put on our bucket list, poor Bill, but I think he's okay with it. We're going to watch 20, count them, 20 Christmas movies. And right. uh, like you said, it, it only takes a couple of hours and a lot of yeah. times watching them from 8 p.m. till uh, yeah. 10 p.m. and a lot of those Hallmark sappy movies which <laughs> I think at first I kind of dragged you into watching oh, yeah, them yeah, but yeah, yeah. now what do you think? Well you know there's no special effects you know <laughs> pyrotechnics uh, but uh, you know what it's good it's nice to see in this day and age you know just some peace love and joy and some humor. Absolutely, and we really enjoy that. But then, of course, in the part of the 20, we're going to be watching some of our favorite, like... I was going to say The Family Man. I uh, love that movie. What's the other one um, um, that you like so Christmas much? Vacation Christmas Vacation is always oh, yeah. a laugh. <laughs> and you know what? Um, oh, I think I do have to watch this every year. Is It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. The wonderful Life. And Classic. <laughs> and you know what? All of those movies, they just, they bring you back to the real values oh, yeah. and uh, the real values of how to have a wonderful life. Yeah. So what's number 10? Number 10 is just relax. Absolutely. You know what? Busy, busy, busy. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Oh, I got to clean up after Christmas. Oh, I have to get ready for New Year's. La, la, la. Stop. Stop. What do we do on a New Year's Day? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so one day we've kind of tried to reserve for ourselves. Everything's closed uh, and we just want to relax. Absolutely. So we generally just cuddle up on the couch and with our little cuteness factor here, hey Hurricane, you get to cuddle up on the couch. Lots of pillows and blankets <laughs> and uh, we usually have some food in the fridge that's left over so mm -hmm. I'm not cooking and it's just amazing. And a lot of times we just sit there and binge watch whatever on TV and I've never seen a Game of Thrones. I've never <laughs> seen a House of Cards. So, you know, sometimes we could do that, just kind of binge watch those crazy mm -hmm. shows or apparently they're, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, there's just so much entertainment on nowadays. Absolutely. And you know what's really exciting to us is that some of you are binge watching our videos. It's absolutely amazing. We have over a hundred now. Mm -hmm. And I see you just, you know, commenting on every one that you're you're watching and we're it just makes our heart kind of leap because we're thinking to ourselves, oh my gosh, you know, they 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 think what we're doing is right and, and we want to give you a big, big thank you for that. That's right. just so awesome. And uh, you know, Fridays are usually the beauty and fashion videos mm -hmm. and then Tuesdays we have our food. Life, yeah, lifestyle, yeah. food, uh, traveling, mm -hmm. lots of fun and little excursions that we go on. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, thank you so much. And, and hey, if you're not a subscriber, there's a button down there. You just click on the uh, the subscribe. And what else do you do? What do you uh, click on there, as there, well? There's a bell for notifications. Yeah, so just click on that as well. And uh, in the meantime, yes, this is probably the most important one is, is to have some comfort and some joy and uh, go into the new year, have an amazing new year mm -hmm. and keep it awesome. Keep it awesome. Everyone's invited to subscribe and join us on our videos.